Hello, Facebook friends! How are you all doing tonight? Happy Halloween! Chris, thanks for joining. Well, um, let's start from the beginning. First of all, <clears throat> I want to apologize to some of my co-workers and some of my friends who have written me today. I was not blowing you off. You know this is my biggest night of the year, so... I will get back to you either late tonight or tomorrow. Um, just wanted to let you know I didn't forget about you. So, where should I begin? Um, let's start from the beginning. So, I worked last night and um, dropped my car off to get inspected and had a walk home. So, I got home. It was technically Halloween. And... Uh, I watched two movies. The first one was horrible. I do not recommend it. It sucked. I was fast forwarding a lot. It still sucked. And then the ending just aggravated me. It was called Graduation Day, a supposed um, found footage film. Totally sucked. Put me in a bad mood. 45 minutes wasted of my time only because I kept fast forwarding. I thought maybe the ending will make it worthwhile. The ending was horrible. Just just avoid that piece of shit movie. Then um, the second movie I watched was A Pleasant Surprise by Kevin Kangas. And, uh, oh God, the, the title is leaving my head right now. A uh, lot of lack of sleep today. Um, the second movie I watched was called Terror Tory. T-E-R-R-O-R Tory. So, um, that was neat. That was like an anthology film all wrapped around, um, the, uh, 10 square. Hey guys, sorry about that. Somebody just tried to call my Facebook page. It was probably a mistake. Um, they really got to make that, um, that button harder to hit. So, um, what was I saying? So I watched, uh, Kevin Kangas's uh, Territory which uh, was, um, apparently he worked with other directors. So, uh, that I highly recommend. Uh, I don't know when it expires, but I know I saw it on Amazon Prime. Kevin, let me know when um, it will be on DVD or Blu-ray. You know, um, I always love supporting you and I always enjoy your films. So, that was a good part of my night. And then, uh, let's see, um, this morning I fed the cats, Peggy's away on training, miss you Peggy, hi, and, um, I had a really hard time sleeping, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I think it was between the anticipation of my car being ready from inspection, and the fact that it was, uh, Halloween, my biggest day, um, I really didn't fall asleep till after I picked my car up. So, um, that was one thing. And then, uh, what else, what else, what else? So then, instead of going to a traditional haunt open to the public, I went to a haunt today run by my friends, uh, Dante and Leah. And uh, it was by invite only to uh, their uh, people that have acted in their movies in the past. And uh, it was a wild and different experience. It was the most unique haunt I've ever gone through. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to word it because it was so different. Um, Dante is a master of putting people outside of their comfort zone. Uh, let's put it that way for now. So uh, it all started off where we were given times and we had to select a time. Then about a week or two later, Dante uh, emailed us individually without us knowing about the other with an apology that, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, your time slot had to be arranged to accommodate uh, friends with special needs, blah, blah, blah. Um, the haunt is still going to be no more than two people at a time. And uh, your time has been moved to 8 o'clock. 
Now, one thing that Dante also said was, do not tell the other people on the invite list because I don't want people um, ruining the atmosphere and all meeting in the parking lot. Well, we get there at 8 o'clock, and guess what? Everyone shows up, all seven guests. So, uh, it was like a big trick. Uh, the whole thing was planned to start around 10 after 8 anyway. And uh, we all thought that we were going through either by ourselves or with just one person. And uh, all seven guests ended up being tricked into meeting there all at the same time. So, uh, we went inside the house and, hey, Jen, thanks for watching. So, uh, we went inside the house and, uh, we were greeted by, uh, the murderer. Uh, just for you guys that don't know, uh, it starts off with the September spook rally in September and then it bleeds over into October what they call the October Panic Attack, and then it all comes to a head on uh, Halloween. So, <clears throat> this year's storyline was continuous. Happy Halloween, Jen! And uh, ever since September, uh, revolving around this uh, house, and uh, the original owners were killed, uh, or, or they were killed by the original owner, uh, Focusing mainly on the three children. And basically the three children were murdered. Uh, their uh, bodies were buried in the backyard. And tonight we met the spirit, the ghost, the original owner of the house. Uh, we only know him as the father. Then we were greeted by... Mrs. Death and Dracula D. And I haven't seen them since uh, back in the Concha Hawken days. And uh, what a nice surprise to see Miss Death and Dracula D. And uh, really a fun time. So uh, that's where pretty much the haunt ended. Because then we started getting separated one by one. And this haunted house now kind of became an abduction where I was led by Mrs. Death, who is always good. We always know when we see Mrs. Death, she's good for two things. She's good for swaying and she's good for providing some light. And she did both. She swayed back and forth and led the way. And one by one, we went into separate rooms and got bags put over our heads. Paper bags. We could breathe. Left in a room completely in the dark. And all we heard was sounds around us. And just wondering what's going to happen next. Then, um, Mrs. Death, it was the first time that I've seen her physically manifest. Mrs. Death was like doing something to my face. I thought I was going to have makeup all over my face. And, um, I was shoved into another room where, uh, some of the other abductees were. And, uh, big heavy quilts were thrown on our heads to keep us disoriented. The lights kept going off and on at first, and then it mostly stayed dark. Uh, there was one point where something heavy was going on my head. As you could see, my hair is a little bit more matted and messed up at, more than normal. And uh, we were left alone a lot. It was unique. It was... Yeah, I'm going to say awkward. It was awkward. Um, still, the ballroom in uh, Halls of Horror was more awkward. It was slightly uncomfortable. Um, you didn't know what was going to happen. You, you didn't know what was going on or why it was going on. Um, it was strange. Uh, 
bizarre, unexpected. So uh, that's where where I left off, and um, let's um, move around, and uh, I'll I'll go over uh, some of the other guests and uh, what else uh, went on today, shall we? So. Now I'm in front of my computer, and I turned off the light so you could see better. Okay. So there were seven of us, and of course, uh, myself and six others. So let me introduce you to the other six guests of Halloween tonight at this very special, unique, and very private haunt. This is Lori. Lori was one of the abductees tonight. Sydney. Glenn and Alicia, Ed and Katie. These are the faces of tonight's haunt. We were all excused from this haunt at different times. I don't know if I was the only one that survived. I was the last one out. And there were no cars in the parking lot. Everyone else was gone. Are they victims of Mrs. Death and Dracula D and the father? I don't know. But these were the people that kind of gave me some comfort while I was abducted. And they were no more when I left. So, with that being said, let's turn on some lights, and I'll show you what else I got today. Alright, so now that we have some light, we can turn this part off. Alright. Today... I got an awesome package from my friend Diana from the Freak and Fun House. All right? How cool is that? I got a package full of roaches, a severed freaking finger, complete with a bone and blood sticking out. I guess I could fill it up with fake blood because it's hollow and make it like go shoop, shoop, shoop with blood. But the best part is, and I hope you guys can see this, is I got the new style shirt for the freaking fun house this year. So here's the back. Not much has changed since uh, the last design. Hey Joanne, thanks for watching. Jefferson Creek, thank you. Jefferson Creek, aka Dante, aka director of Apartment 1014 Films a.k.a. the mastermind of October Panic Attack and uh, September Spook, Spook Rally. Amazing, different, weird. You are a master of taking us out of our comfort level. Thank you for watching. Tony, thank you for watching. So here's the back. Not too many changes. Um, I love the glow in the dark. And yes, here's a plug for Diana. The best public haunt I've ever been to the freaking fun house. There's their freaking number. There's their freaking website. They're in Bowmanstown, Pennsylvania, near the Poconos. This shit glows in the dark. There is a pussy. Don't be a pussy. And what's different this year is check this out. Oh, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Freaking fun house. It fucking glows in the dark. How cool is that? 
Check this out. Freak and fun house. All right. So, I wonder if I let it in the light long enough to um, see if it glows. I might not have. Oops, my chair is rolling. Oh, wow. Look at that. How awesome is that? Diana, Troy, thank you so much. Your haunted house is always great. Thank you. So, my Halloween is not over yet. I've been looking forward to this too much. To, um... Sorry about that extreme close-up. I've been looking forward to this too much to, uh, just go to bed. So, I still have things planned. Oh, yes, I do. So, the first thing I got to do is get dinner, because I've been abducted basically for about an hour and 40 minutes, and, um, I didn't eat dinner. My cats did, but I didn't. And, uh, I do have some things planned. So, again, I'm going to play with the lights so you can see the screen better. So, um, oh, Dante, Jefferson, whatever you want to go by tonight, I had a great time tonight, too. It was bizarre. It was different. I got to chat with friends. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to expect. It was just different. Um, so, I'm going to switch the camera over. All right. Yes, I love Russian blues. My baby girl Sally Foo Foo's a Russian blue. So, tonight, 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 I am going to watch Darkstone Entertainment's The Sandman. I've never seen it before. It was filmed in 16mm VHS, Hi8, and I believe two other formats. By the Masters of Film, Darkstone Entertainment. I believe they're based in Virginia. Um, really awesome people. Really talented. Um, I support them 110%. And I would love to act for them. It's just a shame that they're too freaking far away. I wish you guys would film at a, at a convention sometime. So I can at least go to the convention and have a little part or an extra piece or something in one of your films. Love your films to death. The Sandman, this is a short, never seen it before. That is going to be my first viewing after I eat dinner. Then, I am going to watch a film called Blood of the Tribades. And sorry about this, there's my little thing. I cannot wait to watch this. I did kind of scroll through it. Uh, this film has such a look of like the 60s Hammer films. Uh, it has such a retro look to it. And it looks so fresh and original. Um, I supported it when they had a campaign. I can't wait for it to come out on disc so I can own a physical copy. But uh, tonight is the night, Blood of the Tribades, After the Sandmen, I cannot wait. But no, is, is it, it's, for me, it's still Halloween. So, that is not going to be the end of my night. No, it is not. Then, I am going to see, I'm trying to provide as much light here for this. Forgive my language. If you have kitties, move them now. I am going to see Don't Fuck in the Woods. I have it signed by the entire cast and crew. This is the DVD Blu-ray package. Only offered to the Indiegogo supporters. I got number 35 out of 50. I got everybody's autograph. And I actually have two of these, so I have two of these. And Don't Fuck in the Woods, it has a weird monster. It has that continuing theme of what you're not supposed to do when you're in a 
camping trip and during a horror movie. So that's that. I've been through 16 haunts, public haunts, 17 tonight through my private uh, haunt that I've had the luxury of going through, and technically 18 haunts since I went through Elks twice, but that's cheating, so um, 16 public haunts and one private haunt, Elks Lodge twice. I still have ways to go. Friday, I am planning to go to the Unknown 2000 at Shocktoberfest. Then, leaving right there, I'm not going to have time. I'm going right after work. I know I have friends in that area. I'm only going for that one haunt, and I'm going right after work. Because then I have to get back in my car, and I'm going to do Jason's Woods for the very first time. Weather permitting, of course. Then the next day is Frightland. Then on Sunday, it's going to be the Disneyland of Haunts, Field of Screams. So if I hit my goal, if weather is permitting and nothing happens and nothing gets in my way, I will be, have done 20 haunts this year, 21 if you count the private haunt that I've done tonight. So Dante and Leah, thank you very much. For the most bizarre, unusual, and unexpected Halloween I've ever had. Um, to all my friends, I hope you are still alive who uh, joined me tonight. And I hope you're, you're okay. Have an awesome rest of your night, Dave. Best, wish, best videos ever. Thank you. Love, love, love your posts. I'm going to share this with the rest of the group. Dante, please do... Um, Use Facebook Downloader, or I'll burn it on a disc if you want. Um, just uh, incredible, incredible. I've had a long day. Um, I was not being an asshole to the people that uh, I did not write back to. I basically just, after watching those movies and being up all night and anticipating my car, anticipating Halloween, I just hit a wall and I just couldn't reply um, I was basically in a daze and I, like I said, I did not sleep since yesterday until about 1230, one o'clock after I got my car back. Um, oh yeah, I also got a package I did not open yet from Chris Woods. Chris, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to see that film. It won't be tonight because I have three on my plate tonight. So now I am going to Wawa and getting myself some good junk dinner to celebrate my ha Halloween. Everyone that I saw tonight, it was wonderful seeing you. Dante and Leah, thank you. And to all my Facebook friends, Happy Halloween! And I hope to see you at the next haunt. Alright, why aren't you turning off? And I'll see you at the next haunt.